what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a shopper drop where I go through all of the new makeup launches and I tell you whether or not I will be shopping for them or dropping them from my shopping list. This idea, of course, originates from Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. have some good sneak peeks to talk about. The goods are starting to come. The holiday releases are really coming out. Now, if you were here for my live last week, I talked about some of these products, but I know not everybody can make a live and lives are so long. So I will be talking about those in today's video. And let's just get straight into it. I see right now that Too Faced has a interesting sneak peek. This is actually not even holiday. This is spring 2020. 22. The owner, is it Jared Blandino? I don't know how to say his name. Um, he sneaked peeked this palette, which is definitely very springy. I really like this. I think it's really cute. I think I will be picking it up. It's the same style packaging as the Teddy Bear palette, and I liked that. I thought it was nice. I like the spring tones in here. I mean, sure, if you look really close into it, it's maybe not as unique as we think, but the packaging is really pretty. I love the pops of blue, pastels, pinks, so I'm excited for this one. I definitely think I'm going to be shopping for this. It catches my eye. I can't say no to a good pretty eyeshadow palette, so shopping this, we'll be picking this up. Next up, Kaleidos is launching their Apple collection. So it's going to be two new sets of the Clay Lip Lab set. I love this formula, you guys. It's kind of hard to see the colors in the promo pick, so I'm not even sure what colors are coming. I am getting these sent to me, so I guess I'm kind of shopping for them. Like, I love these lip products. This is a really great formula. I definitely think it's worth it. If I wasn't getting it sent to me, I probably wouldn't have picked it up only because, you guys, this whole drawer right here, overloaded with lip products. I do not need any more, but it's a great formula if you aren't overloaded with lip products like myself. I really recommend these, and these are good for masks. If you're a mask wearer, they're completely matte. They don't transfer. They're really comfortable, lightweight, great formula. I'm excited for this one. Milk makeup is coming out with a bionic liquid blush. I'm interested in trying this. I just, you guys know, I like to know what's on the market and just give my thoughts whether or not they're popular or not. So this is one, the next Sephora VIB sale that I can see myself picking up. So right now I'm dropping it, but if I can get it on sale anytime soon, I definitely want to try these out. I know liquid cream blushes are so trendy and this is one that I want to update you on the formulation. Milk makeup has come out with a lot of interesting products lately. One by one, there hasn't been really big, huge launches or marketing for any of their stuff, but the stuff that they're coming out with does look interesting to me. I believe I talked about this in my last shopper drop, but the entire collection has been revealed and launched from Fenty Beauty. I believe it's their holiday collection. So we have the eyeshadow palette, the highlight palette. There's a brown liquid liner, and then they're launching lip plumpers. They're called the Heat Line. I did did just post a full review. I believe it was yesterday on all of these products. So definitely check it out. There are some hits and there definitely are some misses in this collection. Not really what you would expect is what I'm going to say as far as that. If they weren't sent to me, which they were, I would have picked up the eyeshadow. Well, actually I did pick up the eyeshadow and the highlight trio, but I'm returning it because I actually ended up getting them sent to me before I opened those. So I did shop both palettes. I didn't pick up my two favorite items in the collection were the lip glosses and the eyeliner. Those are the two best things and those were the two things that I didn't shop, but check out that video. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> this is what I was talking about when I said Milk was coming out with some interesting products. This is the Hydro Grip Eye Primer. It's an eyeshadow and concealer primer. I am super interested. This is available on the Sephora website. Again, I'm waiting for a sale. It looks like I'm definitely going to be picking up some Milk makeup items. I'm intrigued by this. It's an invisible hydrating primer that smooths skin and locks down color to prevent creasing, fading, 
shading and smudging. I love the idea of it being both a concealer and an eyeshadow primer. So I'm very interested in this. I will be shopping it eventually. Next items, we have a few. Last week, about five days ago at this point, I talked about these on my live. So if you were there, you probably heard my thoughts on this, but Trend Mood came out with a lot of releases that are going to be coming out for the holidays. So let's break it down. Let's take a look. The first one right here, it looks like Natasha Denona is going to be coming out with one of her mini eyeshadow palettes and it also is going to come with a brush. I can't speak on her brushes, but I will definitely be shopping this without even talking about the palette. I think it's a cute color story based on the feedback that I've gotten from you guys. Some of you aren't very interested in this color story. It looks like a mini Metropolis to me. I don't think it's been exactly revealed what the name of this is, but I like it. I think it's interesting. I think it's fun for the holidays. I also don't think it's a color story for everybody, but I like that mustard shade. I like the yellow. I like the gold. I like the blue. I think you can get a really cohesive look with this palette and that they'll blend into one another really seamlessly. I think it's a thought out color story. Is it end all be all most beautiful color story I've ever seen? No, but by the way, my lashes are like crazy. Like, look at this. What is happening here? I'm throwing these lashes away. But no, but I think this could be really pretty on the eyes. It has potential to be beautiful. And you'll see in the upper corner, uh, there's another Too Faced holiday tin, whatever. Not picking that up, dropping that, not interested, one iota. So speaking of the Too Faced holiday collection, I can't believe they've already revealed this spring. Different year, same palettes. This is what the Too Faced holiday collection is going to look like. And I'm not going to like I used to buy these sets every year in the last couple of years I've not done so because the quality on these just aren't good I mean they hear us saying that the quality on this isn't good and yet they continue to I don't know they must be selling them because <laughs> something's not adding up to me but anyways the packaging of these are always really really cute but even the colors really are the same the quality is the same which is just subpar really for a high-end brand it's not worth it I don't recommend it maybe you know if you have teenagers it, those make a really good gift I'm not gonna lie they're super cute a teenager will appreciate it as somebody who tries as much makeup as I do the quality on these just they aren't very good so I'm not getting these but they look cute. They really do. I like them, but pass. And then I talked about this a little bit. This is the last one that kind of caught my eye from Tarte. Tarte typically is the same deal as Too Faced with the holiday stuff. Really well thought out designs, packaging, but it's the product itself that is typically the issue, the quality. These look like they do have potential to do well. I haven't decided if I'm actually going to pick these up or not, so a uh, shopper drop, I'm not sure yet. Uh, just because I do have a lot of fun with the holiday makeup releases, I tend to buy things that I normally wouldn't buy because I just, I love the spirit of the holidays and with my channel, I love diving into what's worth it and what's not. So there is potential that I will pick these up just to let you guys know if they're gonna be worth it or not. I think these palettes look really, really cute. But I don't know yet. I don't know. They could be the typical, like, really cute but not good quality from Tarte that happens over the holidays. Or it could go the opposite direction. So I'm actually, right now, as I'm speaking out loud, leaning towards picking it up. But we will see. Nikki Tutorials is coming out with her own makeup brand. I did watch her video. This is going to launch in a week, September 23rd. And I was looking at the products, you guys. There's a cream moisturizer, a cooling eye stick a glow serum, setting spray, a fan. And basically what she said was she wanted to create a makeup line and the first products that she wanted to do were products that she felt were missing from her routine and that the market didn't have. I looked through, I think I'm gonna be passing on these products. For me, they aren't something that I feel is missing from my makeup routine. They just don't catch my eye. It's about a mid-range price point here, $30, $37, $25. But these products, I'm really just not interested in yet. I'm excited to see where the brand is going to go and what other products that she comes out with. But at the current moment, the specific products that she's launching do not catch my eye. But we'll see. You know, I'm definitely not writing the brand off at all. It's just this first launch I'm kind of lukewarm about. Hourglass has launched their holiday palettes. Not launched. They're coming out September 24th. And they've come out with two different 
edit palettes, which is more than they've ever done in the past, which is really great in the right direction. Um, I will probably, I'm going to shop these. I'm going to pick up both just so that you can see the comparisons between the two so that you can see if the darker one will work for you. I'm going to test it on my mom as well. So I'm going to pick up both. I think obviously the light one is the one that I'm going to keep for myself and I'll end up giving the deeper one to my mom. You guys did express concerns that you still don't feel like the deeper palette's going to be deep enough. So I definitely want to dive in, see how those are going to do. There also is a new ambient lighting palette volume three for a medium deep to deep skin tones. That looks deeper than the deeper edit palette. So we'll see. I'm not getting the deeper one just because I personally won't use it at all. Let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, but I will be picking it up and we're going to see. We're going to do some testing. The packaging looks kind of dirty to me. I don't know. It looks, it's crushed up powder or marble. I can't tell. I don't know. Anyways, I will be picking them up. I mean, I have them from all the previous years. They're starting to all look the same, of course. Sigma Beauty is launching their collection with Cinderella. It is a collaboration. This comes out September 23rd. And I'm not gonna lie, this collection looks so cute. So I used to not be a fan of Sigma Beauty products. And then I actually got the most recent collaboration with Beauty Bird sent to me. And that palette has really really impressed me. That's by far the best formula that I've tried from Sigma. So I'm eyeing this. For the most part, I have never been a fan really of their eyeshadow formula. I love their color stories. That's the thing why I kept purchasing them, but the quality was never really good. And then the most recent palette that came out, I really enjoyed the quality. So I kind of want to pick this up. I think I'm going to. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, but the color story looks really beautiful in the eyeshadow palette. The blush looks really beautiful. Very tempted. I'm on the edge. I'm gonna say shop for now. If I don't get it, I came into my right mind. It looks really cute. And who doesn't love Cinderella, right? <laughs> okay, NARS is coming out with a trillion palettes this holiday season, so it seems. I always pick up the blush palettes. I will be picking up this blush palette. Not sure might drop the eyeshadow palette, but definitely want this beautiful blush palette. I love the embossments. I buy them every year. It's tradition at this point. Not that that's a good reason, but it looks really beautiful. I love the NARS blush palettes, but there's a ton of sets that are coming out, which is what a lot of the brands do over the holiday season. So if you see anything that you need or that you want to test out, the holidays is a time to get these little sets. I won't be picking up a ton of sets, I don't think, just because I have a lot of the full size products, but yeah, they have mini palettes here. They've changed over the years. They used to never do big holiday sets like they've been doing over the last couple of years which is both exciting but also like meh. no but I'm picking up the big blush palette <laughs> that I will say I am going to do. Beauty Blender is coming out with a skin tint. It's one of the dropper styles which intrigues me. It's available now in Sephora. Dropping these just because I feel like I haven't had the best of luck with Beauty Blender beauty products like makeup. Of course the sponge is still the best in my opinion ever but I'm intrigued it looks interesting to me, but no, not gonna buy it. Just haven't had the best luck with beauty blender makeup, so. And I don't need another skin tint. We have another ColourPop collection on the horizon. Nothing new here. Is it a shop or drop without featuring a few ColourPop collections? This is the Plush Like Me collection. It is going to be available tomorrow, September 16th. Looks very fall appropriate, honestly. Really great burgundy tones here. Dropping this from my list, really not interested in the color stories. The packaging looks beautiful. I mean, it looks like a well done collection. What I am excited to see are more of these bullet lipsticks. I always thought they had a really great bullet lipstick formula, but they seem to have stopped really releasing that style of lip products. Happy to see that. Not a big fan of their blush sticks. Don't need the palette. So dropping this from my list, it looks okay and it looks great for the season but uh no not no, I don't need it <laughs> definitely the furthest thing that I need oh this is exciting Alamar Cosmetics is hey Oh, this is available today. They released their Liquid to Powder Sun Soaked High Shine Highlighters. La Costa is one of the colors, which is an eyeshadow in one of her OG palettes that made the most beautiful highlight. I'm excited to see it in this formula. I don't know. I'm, I, I want it. I'm not going to, though. I'm dropping it, but I want it. I'm... 
I haven't made my decision yet. I really like Alamara. I like to support them. I like their owner, Gabby. And these liquids to powder highlights, I'm not on board with completely. I've tried some really good formulas and I've tried some really bad formulas. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get it eventually. So let's say shop. I might not have it right away, but I'll get it eventually. Let me be real with myself. Next Alamara order I make, whatever it may be, whenever she comes out with a collection that I'm super into. I will add that on. Okay, this is interesting. So this is available now on Saks Fifth Avenue. Gucci Beauty is coming out with a eyeshadow palette. This is the, oh gosh, this, yo, it's a floral eyeshadow palette. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily in love with the color story here. She's cute. You can get an interesting mix of looks. I like the pastel. I'm intrigued. And that packaging, beautiful. I want to put that on my vanity. Here's the catch with it. It's $150. And I bought it. Shopped. I more so bought it for review purposes because if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would not have bought it. I might have after seeing reviews if the quality was really good. Uh, but here's the thing. I am the reviewer. So I need to review this to tell you guys what is up with it. Even if you would never buy it. Don't you just want to know? I just want to know. So I feel like the color story has potential to be beautiful if it's the right formulation. The packaging has me though. I bought it. I bought it. But I can definitely see a large majority of you not being interested in this and I would understand why. Okay, I'm heading over to Angel Naked One's profile. Angel Naked One is fabulous. They have a lot of the luxury releases and they let you know of releases way before Trend Mood. So I just want to show you guys this. This has been on their page for a while. I talked about this last week a little bit. Dior has a new backstage palette coming and you guys said something that was really I thought I agreed with. It was that uh, this is way too gold. Um, this had potential to be really beautiful if they really played some more with the plum tones, added more, added like a really deep, 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 deep matte plum shade. I think I would be more interested in this. I think it's cute. I probably would get this during a sale. So like that's that in between, but I'm not absolutely dying to get it. So right now I'm dropping it, but these are very good quality. I really like the packaging of these. They're fair price for Dior. It is heavy on the gold, but I'm dropping it from now. I'm not interested at the current moment subject to change though I did get asked about this palette I thought this was Dior it's Mac this is from their Rosalia collection and the R made it look like Dior to me, I'm not getting it. I'm passing. I thought it was Dior at first and I was going to get it if it was Dior, but it's MAC. Nothing wrong with MAC. I like MAC too, but MAC isn't one of the main brands that I cover on my channel. So it, it would just be unnecessary money to spend. So I'm dropping this, but it looks nice. Here's what you came for. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to share the photo of the Pat McGrath leak on here out of respect to Mama Pat, uh, but her holiday palette has been leaked and Angel Naked One did post it but it's been deleted. I wonder if the brand asked them to delete it so that means they don't want people to see it so I'm just going to be respectful. I'm not going to share it. I don't want to be the person to get in trouble and I don't want to remove my content because I posted it but there was a leak on what I'm going to assume is the next Pat McGrath holiday palette and it looks a little bit light. The sneak peek photos I do wonder if it's going to look better in person and that's typically the case with these leaked photos. They're not very good quality. It looks a bit light, but it looks like it could be beautiful in the right lighting. It has potential to be really pretty. It's an interesting mix of colors. I'm seeing though some roses, some peach, and some golds, which Pat has a trillion of, but I'm also seeing some blues, some greens. I don't know. I need a better picture. I, I will be getting it regardless, blindly not even knowing what it looks like I'm gonna get it. Interesting layout here. If you go on Instagram or Reddit somewhere, I'm sure you can find the photos of the leaks, but just know there's leaks of the Pat McGrath, what I'm assuming to be the holiday palette. It's a bigger palette. It's kind of like the mega palette that came out, but the layout is weird. It's a bit different. I'm not loving the color story that I'm seeing, but I'm expecting it to look different in person. We'll see. 
on hold on my thoughts on that. But anyways, there we have it, you guys. That's me covering as much as I can of the holiday releases. Expect these shopper drops bi-weekly. They should be a little bit more consistent than in the past because more and more holiday stuff is being launched. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me. Let me know your thoughts on all of the newest releases. What will you be shopping and what will you be dropping? If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.